what's up guys, Iggy here with Faltech Unlimited and tonight's video, it's going to be interesting. So uh, I've been, I had an order to do a 1911 outside the waistband, so it's going to be a taco style with an RTI 35 and a uh, speed, speed clip, I mean speed hood. We're doing that. All well and dandy, you guys have seen me doing that today's kicker. Uh, check this out, it's going to be a beautiful snakeskin and suede lined. Now, have I done suede line before? Absolutely. This is why it sucks. Okay. Your holster in the direct sunlight will transfer heat. Your firearm after shooting is warm. Inside the holster will transfer heat. Now, customer states he has a chrome firearm and um, doesn't want it to get scratched. Well, in our world, your gun's going to get scratched. It's a tool. If you don't want it scratched, keep it in the safe. Bottom line. Uh, the holster we're going to make, like I said, is uh, suede lined. You can get this suede from souls2dance.com. I'll stick it right here. And you can go there anytime and order these kits. It's uh, 40 bucks shipped for two of these, right? Which is just enough to make one holster each. Which sucks. Okay, another thing. Uh, there's a certain process you have to do. Obviously, you can't line a holster after it's done. It has to be done all at the same time. So we're going to stick this to the Kydex and then stick it in the t-shirt press. Now, I used to do this like six years ago. And what I would do is six years ago... Oh, shut this off. Six years ago, I would put this on the Kydex and put it in my toaster oven. And I would put it suede side up. Let it warm up for a little bit and then suede side down and let the kydex warm up because this blocks heat, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to do it on the shirt press, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it in there for quite some time. That way I can get the glue and everything nice and soft because we're going to want this to, to do its thing. And hopefully it doesn't separate from the kydex because if it does, then I have wasted half my snakeskin and one entire sheet because I have to have it done this particular way. So will I do it at a uh, foam press? Yeah, I will. Should I have to? We'll see. Um, another thing. This is inside your holster. This is foreign material inside your holster. It will do two things. It will warm up, the glue will soften, and it will move. It could fold over itself. So it is you as the uh, operator to make sure that there is nothing in your holster that will cause a negligent discharge. Every time I've done these in the past, the customer, I made sign a disclaimer saying that I am not held liable for any negligent discharges this crap might cause with negligent use. So that being said, I'm going to be sending a waiver to this customer saying that uh, he agreed to pretty much all conditions and ordering the holster online. Um, but pretty much that's the reason why I didn't cancel the order is because I wanted to convey my messages to you guys. It's awesome, but it could be dangerous. Now, here's the other thing. It's suede. What happens when you put dirt and dust on suede? It sticks. With felt, same thing. With um, you name it. You have to make sure that this is completely clear before re-entering your firearm, which this customer's is chrome, before re-entering your firearm into the holster because it will act like sandpaper and it will scratch your firearm and it could be worse than kydex whatsoever now with the molds and using tape i have hvac tape on this mold i already have it set up so i don't need to show you guys this but this is what i'm doing um so i'm gonna cut it to shape with what i need and then we're gonna stick it in there and see what happens so uh you guys can watch me just go ahead and mount this up and do everything we need to do and Again, this is my first time on a t-shirt press and a vac form. I always did this with foam, and I always did it with my convection oven. So we shall see, and hopefully it comes out good the first try. So let's just do it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split this in half because I have two attempts to do this, and hopefully this goes good. So there's the good one. Again, we know that this is going to be vacuum so what we're going to do is we're going to see which way would actually be better on the mold as you can see i got the mold all set up it's all taped with what i need yeah it's not pretty but it'll work so if i put it this way 
Okay, that fits. And if I go this way, that will actually work as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the length slightly longer. So I'll cut right around here and get that on there. Let me use the Kydex as my guide and use the razor blade that I just had in my hand. Here we go. Okay. And as you can see, get this off here. This is, like I said, 3M backed, and this stuff is absolutely, it's unforgiving. So, but I'll keep these just for whatever. Uh, we know that this is going to go, we'll go this way with that. We could go either way. I'll probably do it this way. So I'll flip this over, and I'm just going to confirm which way I want this. I have confirmed I want it this way. So what I'm going to do I'm going to take some Hall of Alki. This is 91% isopropyl. Get it at Dollar General, Walmart, whatever you want. And I'm just going to get oils off of this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and peel this. And you have one shot to get it on there. Okay, we're gonna throw this right here. So we'll put this end down. Okay, there it is. And I'm just going to work out the bubbles and such. You can use a squeegee, whatever works really. This is just a big old piece of tape. bubble here and a little bubble there. Let's... Let's poke it. There we go. Awesome. And what I'm going to do is this is all going to get blown out because we don't want any dirt and dust in there so i'm going to blow all the dust from my bench that went on there i'm going to blow that all out again what i used to do is put it in face up flip it and then do face down uh, i'm not going to do that this time i'm actually just going to throw this in let it do a cycle warm that up so the bottom is going to be warm and I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, suede side down, just like a sublimation, uh, and then let it heat up. But instead of doing 150 seconds, I'm going to let it continue for a little bit longer, just to verify everything is warm. That was pretty much good. Ugh. Make sure that's clean. I'm going to take a piece of Teflon. That at the bottom. Make sure that's clean. That's hot. Just give this another that's over so that is nice and clean. That's going down. And 150 seconds is what I normally have it on. I will probably let it be for another additional 40 and then see what happens. That is a 12 by 12, so I can go ahead and use a 12 by 12, uh, or I'm gonna use this right here, and we will see 
how this goes. Again, never done it. I'm worried about this spot right here because that is extremely high. And it's between the blocking for the safety and the blocking for the RTI 35 plate. Um, safety, RTI 35, it will not clear it. So we had to make it same height. In this case, it's just a hair below, which is fine. Redhead, not blonde, and just fine. So uh, when we use our uh, rubber spacers with half-inch uh, Chicago screws, it will work fine, the slotted post. Um, so we got about a hundred and a half seconds left. Hopefully this goes good, because if it doesn't, then I am doing it by hand on foam. And also you will see a massive failure on my part for the first time. Yeah, but hopefully that won't happen. But again, I have enough for two attempts. I've learned over the years to do that. Uh, but it is a much, much, much easier to do this on foam. But we'll see how this comes out because if it's good on vacuum, we should be fine. Um, and you can see smoke starting to come out. That is normal. I don't know if you can see that, but the suede will do it. So maybe we'll just wait the additional 50 seconds. That's going to come out to do it just in case. I don't want to cook it. Um, oh, yeah, it smells funky. But we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't char it. I think we are going this way. Hmm. I think we're going to be foam pressing it. Yep. No definition. Foam press it is. That's a bummer. But that's what it was gonna look like. But yeah, no, nope. All right, no big deal. Like I said though, we're gonna foam press it. Nothing happened here. So we'll do it the old fashioned way. Oh well, I kind of figured. It's worth a shot though. But that's um, $40 in the trash because I don't think I'll be able to peel that off without some disgusting, yeah, no. Oh, that's a bummer. Joy. Well, since that was a major fail, 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 I'm going to regroup, block out my, uh, block out my Kimber mold and get that going. And we're going to do this on like I used to, because apparently it doesn't want to stretch like that, but the foam will make it foam will cause it to go good. And, uh, that's going to be a four foam job. Uh, I'm going to go inside for a few minutes. It is. That's not right. It's like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. So um, I'm going to regroup and you're going to see it on part two. Bye.